Feed and Sea has a special place in my heart. My mom, when she was very young, went hungry. And I've seen how that experience um, it has impacted her life. One thing that um, sticks out to me is the term that they use now is food insecurity. She is still insecure about food today. She has dementia now, but every day when I walk out the door, she wants to know if I've got lunch money or not, because sometimes she didn't. The other part to that is my mom was able to get help through her family and a lot of people don't have that. Um, either they don't have a close-knit family or they're far away and you know if, if she didn't have that sh she she would be coming here. So Mooresville Soup Kitchen, which is the name that everybody knows, started in 1987 at the First Baptist Church across the street and uh, started as a true soup kitchen serving hot meals. And I think there was a need for that for many, many years. And so that's what they focused on. Over the last five years, the board started looking at what do we need to evolve into to better serve the organization. And so when I joined, um, we began doing research about um, needs in the community. We did face-to-face. -face. We walked out and knocked on doors and asked the neighbors what they needed. We looked at census data to try to figure out what families in our community were struggling with. And what we found is that it wasn't the same things. It was 30 years ago that most of the families now had jobs. Uh, most of them had one job or two jobs. They were not homeless. They just simply were struggling with poverty. Last year, um, after we had done the research and we tried to figure out the direction that the organization was going in, the name, Morrisville Soup Kitchen, didn't fit anymore at that point because we knew that we wanted to be doing other things. So we definitely still provide the hot meal for breakfast and lunch, five days a week, Monday through Friday. Then we have a lot of other programs that have grown tremendously over the last few years, and one of those is our pantry. Our pantry is designed as kind of like a grocery store that people could come in and shop. Um, it's supplemental groceries, so our families are able to get between $150 to $200 weekly in supplemental groceries. So we do offer fresh produce, meats, um, we have hygiene products, diapers, um, a, lot, a lot of things that we're able to offer that other pantries I feel you know, don't have as much of. We have a lot of great donors. We have a food rescuer program, um, which gets us fresh produce from farms, co-ops, uh, local businesses. My name is Melanie Dunstan. Um, I'm a mediator at the court, Mecklenburg County Court. I, I needed food, and I never thought I would need food. And it seems simple, but that was a staple. That was a big thing lacking in my home. Here it's decency with feed and see. They're, they're sweet people, they're kind. And it's important for me to feel good about myself coming to them. Um, Miss Brittany, she is the best. She's sweet, she's kind and she is warm. And what's some of the stuff she's helped you with? Um, just being kind. Just treating me normally. Um, she never knew what I did, who I was, and just what I do to other people, she did the same thing. And she does for everybody. I'm always impressed that it's done with a great deal of dignity and respect. You know, they don't just hand out food. Um, they serve the people. They get to know them. You can learn how to um, be in the restaurant business and go to their school. There's so many very innovative ideas that they have.
So my name is Andrew Hughes and I'm the culinary director here at Feed NC. Uh, my job encompasses everything uh, to do with food production. Uh, so I oversee the volunteer teams that uh, put together our daily meals. Uh, we serve breakfast and lunch here uh, five days a week and it's all uh, volunteer and donation driven. You know, we try to keep it fun. Uh, I get uh, everything donated here from steaks to fish to chicken. Uh, but you know, we also uh, have a package meal program here that you know, we uh, put up uh, you know, plastic trays. We uh, put meals into them, seal them, freeze them, and then distribute them out into the community. So we're able to reach a lot of people that way. The culinary program is a 12-week training program um, that we offer to individuals in our community who are either unemployed or underemployed. Um, so throughout the 12-week program, they get 150 hours of hands-on training with our chef here. Uh, so we learn knife skills, you know, how to cut things into cubes and even shapes so that the food looks nice and even and cooks evenly. Uh, it's a lot of fun for me when I get students that have some culinary background and you know, want to learn more to actually move to the next level. But a lot of the students that I've had have come in with no culinary background. I've even had some that have you know, no work experience at all. You know, so most of what I'm looking for is that positive attitude and that willingness to learn. Matt Hendricks, and I'm in the culinary program. I've been out of the work program for quite a while because you know, at uh, in my mid forties, wasn't literally looking forward to starting over again. And this has really helped me to ease back in. Uh, we've did a lot. We've done a lot of saucing, done a lot of sauces, uh, the braising, the cooking, the, uh, and a lot of the sanitary things that are required in order to be able to work in the kitchen. This is where we got our serve safe certification comes with the program. And the best part about it is that it has a job placement program at the end. So that when I get out of it, I actually get a job. The proudest story is is the uh, the culinary school for me, um, because it's it's just it's about this place here coming around somebody and loving them, and giving them um, help with their immediate needs, and then helping them become autonomous and seeing them through not just the school part but coaching them um, when they get um, into their job and just the work that um, Laura and all of her staff here have done within our community. Yeah, so we do have a community connections program, um, and that is for anybody who is just needing to, you know, get connected to any resources that in the community. Essentially what we do here, I, I know I mentioned the meal service earlier. The meal service is free to anyone. We do not require any type of application. All you have to do is walk in the door and we will absolutely serve you. And the great thing about that is not only do we work to create connections between you know, individuals and organizations in the community, we also look to try to create connections between individuals in the community. So if it's someone who comes in here to, to get a bite to eat and it turns out that they have something in common with someone else who came in here to eat, you know, that can really build social capital where these people now have connections outside of us or outside of Feed and See that is able to bolster them to the community and tie them into the community so that they can receive those services. You never know who you're standing next to. Um, you could be a volunteer, a donor, a guest. Um, everyone from the community is in this building. I think that we all have this idea of, you know, we want to feed people. We want to make sure that no one goes hungry. And I think that is the most important component of this whole thing. But I think there's a bigger issue here. Um, you know, we're battling something that's bigger than just giving people a meal. It's, you know, generational poverty and systemic poverty. Why is it that, you know, people are un unable to afford their groceries? Why is it that, you know, they have to come here? So we want to dig down really deep to those root issues and try to solve it from the bottom so that, you know, we can help this family right now, but what does that mean for their children? Can we help their children so they're not in the same situation? And it's, it's really, you know, I think that's why we're all here. We hope you enjoyed the tour. My name is Bonnie Battaglia and I'm the development associate here at FeedNC. 
We believe it takes more than a meal to end hunger. Hunger is a community problem that deserves a community solution, and you are part of that solution. From our dedicated volunteers to our generous financial contributors, you make the difference. You make it possible to do what we do. If you'd like to learn more, visit our website at www.feednc.org to learn more. There, you can find out how to volunteer. You can make an online donation. You can learn how to build a blessing bag. Be sure to like us or follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We look forward to connecting with you.